Hi guys, it's John here, and this is a benchmark update for the Galaxy S23. So you'll notice the lack of S22 Ultra in this video, and that's because they're still waiting for the One UI 6 update and also the December update. So I have actually had both on this phone now, so I am able to compare it to the November update with One UI 6. I was kind of waiting for the S22 Ultra to get its update, but it obviously didn't come through. So we're gonna run this now on the S23 Ultra and we'll catch up with the S22 Ultra, which is filming this video at a later date. So in this one, we're just gonna to compare to the November update for the S23 Ultra. Starting off with the Geekbench 6, moving on to Antutu, moving on to 3 d Mark, and then the Browser Bench. Okay, so the CPU benchmark is finished. And you can see we've had a bit of an increase on the single core compared to last month where we had a bit of a dip, but yeah, nothing too amazing there on One UI 6 here for the S23 Ultra. So we're gonna move on to the GPU test now and see how we do there. Okay, and in the GPU benchmark, we've only had a very tiny increase here. So again, nothing very interesting to talk about. Let's move on to Antutu next, and we'll see how we compare to last month, November, which we didn't have a video for, but this is the result. And we'll see if we can get anything better or similar in the December update. Okay, so we can see here we have had a very small increase on the result for the Antutu benchmark, which is nice to see. 159,000, it's about a 4% increase from last month. So nothing amazing, but always nice to see an increase nonetheless. So let's move on to the stress test now. Of course, what we're hoping to see is something very similar to this October update, where we had these lovely straight lines pretty much on the cores and a nice 85 to 90% CPU performance throughout the test. Okay, so the stress test has just finished and we see here the cores are looking pretty good still. They are keeping up to their respective speeds, which is really nice to see. We can see, however, I think that the CPU performance has actually gone down a tiny bit compared to last month, maybe hovering around 80% average now rather than 85. But we can see here it's still well over 80 for most of the tests, peaking up to 100% as well. So these are still really great results for the S23 Ultra. So here we finished at 40 degrees as well, so we are quite warm even if it is quite cold in here, it's 17 degrees here in the office, and we're down to 79% battery. Right, okay, we're gonna move on to the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test now, and we'll see how this compares to last month. We've actually scored a better lower loop, but a worse off best loop compared to last month. Stability has improved though, so that's good to see. So let's move on to the Slingshot Extreme and see how that compares as well. Okay, and here we are with the Slingshot Extreme results. And you can see here, we've had a little increase of about three to 4% overall in the test, which is nice to see. We didn't even get too hot either, just hovering around 33 degrees here. So let's move on to the Browse Bench and we'll see if there's any improvements there as well. Okay, so browser bench, we have got a nice score of 204 here, which is a massive improvement over last month of nearly 14%. So that's really great to see, whether that's the One UI itself or whether that's Chrome browser getting updated. Not 100% sure, but either way, it's good to see. So that is the December update for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I hope you enjoyed the video and that everyone has a good time off over Christmas and a good new year, of course. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the new year.